All right, let's continue on. You now know how to use the merge method to perform an inner and left join. The merge method supports two other join types. Let's start with the right join. It will return all of the rows from the right table and includes only those rows from the left table that have matching values. It is the mirror opposite of the left join. These example tables show the result of a right join. Only rows from the left table where the column C matches are returned. Where there isn't a match, the columns from the left table will be missing in the result table, like rows 1 and 4. For this lesson, let's look at another table called Movies to Genres. Movies can have multiple genres, and this table lists different genres for each movie. For our right join example, let's take a sample of this data subsetting to develop a table of movies from the TV movie genre. Our goal is to merge it with the movies table. We will set movies as our left table and merge it with the TV genre table. We want to use a right join to check that our movies table is not missing data. In addition to showing a right join, this example also allows us to look at another feature. Notice that the column with the movie ID number in the movies table is named ID and in the TV genre table it is named movie ID. The merge method has a feature to take this into account. The code for this merge has some new elements. First of all, we set the how argument to write so the merge performs a right join. Additionally, we introduce two new arguments named left on and right on. They allow us to tell the merge which key columns from each table to merge the tables. We list movies as the left table, so we set the left on to ID and right on to movie ID. Our return table has movies that match our table of TV genres. There does not appear to be any null values in the columns from the movies table. We could explore this further. However, let's move on to our last type of join. Our last type of join is called an outer join. An outer join will return all of the rows from both tables regardless if there is a match between the tables. Here is a simple example of an outer join, where the key columns used to join the tables has no match, no values are returned. That is why in the result, the columns from the left table are missing in rows 1 and 5, and in column D, row 3 is missing. For an example of this, we filter the movies to genres table, as before, into two very small tables. One table has data on family movies, and the other has comedy movies. In this merge, we list the family table as a left table and merge it on the movie ID column. The how argument is set to outer for our outer join. Both of our tables have the same column names. Therefore, we add suffixes to show what table the columns originated. In our result table, Every row is returned for both tables, and we see some null values. In our original comedies table, ID number 12 does not exist. Therefore, a null is shown. Similarly, in our last row, movie ID 13 wasn't in the family data set, so it has a null. Let's practice.